Get ready, Guardians. The Destiny dev team has some exciting changes coming to weapon crafting in the upcoming expansion, Lifefall. They're introducing three new crafting capabilities, deep sight activation, weapon enhancing, and weapon level boosting. Weapon enhancing allows for upgrading adept Lifefall raid weapons with enhanced traits, levels, and memento sockets, while deep sight activation lets you apply deep sight to a weapon with a pattern available to unlock. Plus, weapon level boosting will increase a weapon's level without it needing to be equipped. And that's not all, they're overhauling the deep sight weapon drop behavior, removing resonant and harmonic alloys, and adding standard currencies for shaping perks. Keep watching for all the details on these game-changing updates. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting builds and gaming content. Now let's jump straight into it. The number one change to Destiny 2's weapon crafting system is the addition of three new crafting capabilities. These include deep sight activation, weapon enhancing, and weapon level boosting. These new features will be added over the course of the Lightfall year, with some coming a few weeks after the Lightfall Master Raid release and others being added after Season 21. The first new feature, Deep Sight Activation, will allow players to apply Deep Sight to a weapon that has a pattern available to unlock. This is known as Manual Deep Sight, and will only work on weapons that have not previously rolled with Deep Sight. The ability to activate Deep Sight will be tightly controlled, and there will be some variation in cost depending on the weapon. The Deep Sight Activation feature is expected to be released in Season 21. The second new feature, Weapon Enhancing, will allow players to upgrade an Adept Lightfall Raid weapon with enhanced traits, level, and a memento socket. This upgrade will consume standard currencies and spoils of conquest for raid weapons. Weapon Enhancing will be applied through a new tiered weapon mod, and players will be able to modify limited aspects of the weapon at the Crafting Relic. The initial limited rollout of Weapon Enhancing will have three tiers, and the first weapons to obtain this enhancement capability will be the Adept weapons acquired from the Master Difficulty Lightfall Raid. The feature will be backwards compatible with the Lightfall Raid Adept weapons you have already acquired but won't include previous raids. The third new feature, Weapon Level Boosting, will increase the level of a crafted or enhanced weapon for the cost of standard currencies. This new weapon mod will be added to the game and will allow players to increase a weapon's level without needing the weapon to be equipped. Weapon Level Boosting is planned to be added after Season 21. These new crafting capabilities represent a major overhaul of Destiny 2's weapon crafting system, and they are sure to excite both casual and hardcore players. As someone who enjoys playing Destiny 2, I think these changes will add a lot of depth and complexity to the game, giving players more ways to customize and enhance their weapons. I'm particularly excited about the Deep Sight Activation feature, which will allow players to electively apply Deep Sight to a weapon that has a pattern available to unlock. This should give players more control over their weapon crafting and make it easier to acquire the weapons they want. Overall, I think these changes are a positive step for the game, and I'm looking forward to trying them out. Resonant Elements and Alloys Destiny 2's Resonant Elements and Alloys have been the main currencies used to shape weapon perks, but they have been causing some problems within the game. The use of these elements is infrequent, and the element currency cap is easily bypassed by hoarding excess deep sight weapons in the vault. The disparity between players who have an excess of elements and those who are lacking is also causing problems, as these elements are directly tied to weapon acquisition. To address these issues, the developers have decided to remove resonant and harmonic alloys in upcoming seasons, and they are also removing resonant elements altogether in Lightfall. While the crafting alloys will not be affected at Lightfall's launch, the developers are planning to remove resonant and harmonic alloys in the following seasons. There are no significant changes currently planned for ascendant alloys. This means that shaping perks will now require standard currencies, such as Glimmer, Enhancement Cores, and Legendary Shards. By removing resonant elements, the developers are hoping to address the issues with the economy of the game and make it easier for players to shape their weapons. As for my reaction, I think this is a great move by the developers to make the game more accessible to all players. Removing resonant elements and adjusting the shaping system will make the game less grindy and less dependent on hoarding elements. This change will hopefully help players who are struggling to get the elements they need to shape their weapons and level the playing field between casual and hardcore players. It remains to be seen how the changes will affect the game's balance, but overall, I think it's a step in the right direction. With the ability to enhance and boost the level of your weapons, the crafting system in Destiny 2 is set to undergo some significant changes in the lifefall year. But that's not all, as Bungie is also planning to introduce a new feature that will allow you to apply the Deep Sight pattern to a weapon among other improvements. Let's take a closer look at what this new Deep Sight activation feature entails. Destiny 2 has a massive arsenal of weapons that players can use to take on enemies in the game. 
However, with so many weapons to choose from, it can be challenging to level them all up. To address this, the developers are adding a new way to increase a weapon's level without needing to equip it. A new weapon mod will be introduced that can increase the level of a crafted or enhanced weapon using standard currencies. This new feature will be a convenient method for unlocking early perk choices and an outlet for any spare currencies you may have stockpiled. While this will not be initially positioned as the only method for leveling up a weapon, it will be a helpful tool for players who want to quickly level up their weapons. The weapon level boosting feature is set to arrive sometime after Season 21. With this new feature, players will be able to experiment with more weapons in the game without worrying too much about their weapon levels. As a player, the weapon level boosting feature seems like a useful tool to have. It can be frustrating to level up a weapon, especially if it's one that you don't use frequently. With this new feature, it should be much easier to level up your weapons and try out different loadouts. Overall, it's a positive addition to the game that will enhance the gameplay experience for players. The Destiny 2 development team is planning to introduce new crafting capabilities and the last of these is weapon level boosting. Currently, there are far more crafted weapons than there are equipment slots to accommodate them, and this new feature is designed to address this issue. With weapon level boosting, you will be able to increase a weapon's level without needing to equip it. A new weapon mod will be added that will increase the level of a crafted or enhanced weapon for the cost of standard currencies. While this will not be initially positioned as the only method for leveling up a weapon, it may be a convenient method for unlocking early perk choices and an outlet for any spare currencies you have stockpiled. The development team is looking to add this behavior sometime after Season 21. These changes are significant, and it's exciting to see the Destiny 2 development team continue to improve the game with these updates. The introduction of weapon level boosting is a welcome addition, as it will give players more flexibility in how they level up their weapons, allowing them to make better use of the weapons they have crafted. Overall, these changes show that the development team is listening to the community and making changes to enhance the player experience. In conclusion, Bungie is bringing significant changes to weapon crafting with the upcoming Lightfall expansion. The changes include revamping the deep sight weapon drop behavior, removing the resonant element economy, and introducing new crafting capabilities such as deep sight activation, rate adept weapon enhancing, and weapon level boosting. These changes aim to enhance the overall gameplay experience for Destiny 2 players. While some of the changes will be implemented immediately after the release of Lightfall, others are planned for later in the year. As always, Bungie plans to continue tuning weapon crafting as they gather more feedback and data after these changes go live. The Destiny 2 community can look forward to more exciting updates as Bungie continues to deliver on its commitment to making games that evolve over time. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more gaming news, builds, and gaming content. Have a great rest of your week.